Impacts of Climate Change Climate change is already having significant impacts on the environment, economy, and society, and these impacts are expected to increase in severity and frequency over time. Environmental Impacts One of the most significant environmental impacts of climate change is sea level rise, which is caused by the melting of ice sheets and glaciers as a result of warming temperatures. This can lead to flooding in coastal areas, as well as saltwater intrusion into freshwater resources. Climate change is also leading to more frequent and severe extreme weather events, such as hurricanes, droughts, and heat waves, which can cause widespread damage to infrastructure, crops, and ecosystems. Additionally, climate change is causing the loss of biodiversity, as habitats become unsuitable for certain species and they are forced to move or go extinct. Economic Impacts Climate change is expected to have significant economic impacts, including damage to infrastructure, reduced agricultural productivity, and increased healthcare costs due to more frequent and severe heat waves and other climate-related health impacts. Additionally, the costs of adapting to climate change and reducing greenhouse gas emissions can be significant, although many experts argue that the costs of inaction will ultimately be much higher. Social Impacts Climate change is expected to disproportionately impact vulnerable populations, including low-income communities, indigenous peoples, and coastal communities. These populations often have fewer resources to adapt to climate change impacts and may be more exposed to the risks of extreme weather events, sea level rise, and other climate-related impacts. Climate change can also lead to displacement of populations, as people are forced to move due to rising sea levels, droughts, or other climate-related impacts. Overall, the impacts of climate change are complex and multifaceted, and will require coordinated global action to mitigate and adapt to these impacts. Climate Change and Public Health Discussion of the Impact of Climate Change on Public Health Overview of the Risks Posed by Air Pollution, Waterborne Diseases, and Vector-Borne Diseases Explanation of the Need for Public Health Interventions to Address the Impacts of Climate Change Climate Change and Public Health Climate change has significant impacts on public health. As the planet warms, it leads to various health risks for humans, including air pollution, waterborne diseases, and vector-borne diseases. In this section, we will discuss the impact of climate change on public health, the risks posed by different diseases, and the need for public health interventions to address the impacts of climate change. Impact of climate change on public health. Climate change has a significant impact on public health. As the temperature rises, it leads to increased air pollution, the spread of disease-carrying organisms, and the rise in extreme weather events. These factors lead to various health risks for humans, including respiratory illnesses, infectious diseases, and heat-related illnesses. Climate change also exacerbates the existing health disparities, putting vulnerable populations, such as children, the elderly, and people with chronic illnesses, at greater risk. Risks posed by different diseases. Air pollution. Air pollution is a significant health risk, and climate change exacerbates it. Rising temperatures and increased humidity lead to the production of ground-level ozone, which is harmful to human health. Exposure to air pollution can lead to respiratory illnesses, such as asthma, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, COPD, and lung cancer. Children, the elderly, and people with pre-existing respiratory conditions are most at risk. Waterborne diseases. Climate change also affects the quality and availability of water, leading to the spread of waterborne diseases. Floods, droughts, and extreme weather events can contaminate the water supply and lead to outbreaks of waterborne diseases, such as cholera, typhoid, and diarrhea. These diseases can cause dehydration, malnutrition, and even death, particularly in vulnerable populations. Vector-borne diseases. Vector-borne diseases, such as malaria, Dengue fever, and Zika virus, are transmitted by mosquitoes and other insects. Climate change leads to the spread of disease-carrying organisms, as they thrive in warmer temperatures and higher humidity. This puts more people at risk of contracting these diseases, particularly in areas where they were previously rare or non-existent. Need for public health interventions. To address the impacts of climate change on public health, public health interventions are needed. These interventions include improving air quality, ensuring access to safe drinking water, and promoting vector control measures. Education and outreach to vulnerable populations are also critical to ensure they have the knowledge and resources to protect themselves from the health risks associated with climate change. 
By taking action to address the health impacts of climate change, we can mitigate its effects and ensure a healthier future for all. In conclusion, climate change is one of the greatest challenges facing humanity, and it is caused by human activities that release greenhouse gases into the atmosphere. It is important for everyone to understand the impacts of climate change and take action to reduce emissions and adapt to the changing climate. This article has discussed the science behind climate change, the importance of climate mitigation and adaptation strategies, the use of climate modeling, the role of international climate agreements, and the impacts of climate change on the environment, economy, and public health. It is crucial for individuals, businesses, and governments to work together to address the issue of climate change and ensure a sustainable future for generations to come. Let's take action today to protect our planet and its inhabitants. Climate adaptation is the process of adjusting to the effects of climate change to reduce vulnerability and build resilience to its impacts. With the increasing frequency and severity of extreme weather events, such as floods, droughts, and heat waves, adapting to climate change has become essential to ensure the safety and well-being of communities and the sustainability of ecosystems. One important aspect of climate adaptation is coastal protection. As sea levels rise, coastal areas are becoming more vulnerable to flooding and erosion. Coastal protection measures such as seawalls, dunes, and mangroves can help to reduce the risk of coastal erosion and flooding, protecting human settlements and preserving coastal ecosystems. Water management is also a key component of climate adaptation. As rainfall patterns change and freshwater resources become more scarce, water management strategies such as water conservation, rainwater harvesting, and groundwater recharge can help to ensure access to clean water and reduce water stress. Biodiversity conservation is another important strategy for climate adaptation. As habitats shift due to climate change, many species are struggling to adapt, leading to population declines and even extinctions. Conservation measures such as habitat restoration, species reintroduction, and protected area management can help to preserve biodiversity and ensure the long-term sustainability of ecosystems. In addition to these traditional adaptation strategies, technology is playing an increasingly important role in climate adaptation. For example, remote sensing technology can be used to monitor changes in ecosystems and climate patterns, while modeling and simulation tools can help to predict the impacts of climate change and assess the effectiveness of adaptation measures. Furthermore, new technologies such as climate-resistant crops and resilient building materials are being developed to help communities adapt to the impacts of climate change. Climate modeling. Climate modeling plays a crucial role in predicting the impacts of climate change on the planet. It involves using mathematical equations to simulate the behavior of the Earth's climate system, including its atmosphere, oceans, and land surface. These models help scientists understand how the climate has changed in the past and how it may change in the future, based on different scenarios of greenhouse gas emissions and other factors. Importance of Climate Modeling Climate modeling is important for several reasons. First, it allows scientists to study the complex interactions between different components of the climate system and how they respond to various factors, such as changes in greenhouse gas concentrations, solar radiation, and volcanic activity. This information can be used to improve our understanding of the mechanisms driving climate change and to develop more accurate projections of future climate scenarios. Second, Climate modeling is an essential tool for policymakers and decision-makers in developing strategies to mitigate and adapt to the impacts of climate change. It provides information on potential risks and vulnerabilities, as well as the effectiveness of different mitigation and adaptation measures. Types of Climate Models There are several types of climate models, each with their own strengths and limitations. Global Climate Models GCMs, simulate the behavior of the entire Earth system, including the atmosphere, oceans, and land surface, and are used to make projections of global climate change over decades to centuries. Regional climate models RCMs, focus on a particular geographic area and provide more detailed information on the local impacts of climate change, such as changes in precipitation patterns and extreme weather events. Earth System Models ESMs, are a more recent development that incorporate additional components of the Earth system, such as the carbon cycle and biogeochemical cycles, into climate models. These models provide a more comprehensive understanding of the complex interactions between the climate system and the Earth's ecosystems. Challenges in Climate Modeling Despite their usefulness, climate models face several challenges. 
One of the biggest challenges is the uncertainty associated with future greenhouse gas emissions and other factors that can affect the climate system. There are also limitations in our understanding of the complex interactions between different components of the Earth system, which can lead to inaccuracies in climate projections. Another challenge is the computational power required to run climate models. These models are highly complex and require massive amounts of computing power, which can be a barrier to their widespread use in policymaking and decision-making. Use of Climate Models in Policy and Decision-Making Climate models are increasingly being used in policymaking and decision-making, particularly in the development of climate change mitigation and adaptation strategies. They provide valuable information on potential risks and vulnerabilities, as well as the effectiveness of different mitigation and adaptation measures. However, there are also limitations to the use of climate models in policymaking, particularly in the realm of uncertainty. The accuracy of climate projections depends on our understanding of the complex interactions between different components of the Earth system and the accuracy of our measurements and data. As such, policymakers must carefully consider the limitations and uncertainties associated with climate models when developing policies and making decisions about climate change. International Climate Agreements Brief overview of the importance of international cooperation in addressing climate change. The Paris Agreement Explanation of the Paris Agreement, its history, and its goals Overview of the key features of the Paris Agreement, including nationally determined contributions, transparency, and accountability discussion of the challenges faced by the Paris Agreement, including the withdrawal of the U.S. and the insufficient ambition of some countries' commitments. Other International Climate Agreements Overview of other international climate agreements, including the Kyoto Protocol and the Montreal Protocol discussion of the strengths and weaknesses of these agreements, and their impact on greenhouse gas emissions reduction. The Role of International Cooperation Explanation of the importance of international cooperation in addressing climate change overview of the key players in international climate negotiations, including the UNFCCC and the IPCC discussion of the challenges faced by international cooperation including conflicting interests among countries and the lack of political will to act on climate change. Conclusion Summary of the importance of international cooperation in addressing climate change and the need for stronger commitments to reduce greenhouse gas emissions.